Happy Saturday morning, everybody. Look at the legend. Hey, Louie. Louie. <laughs> it just slowly turns around. What? All right. Uh, I'm waiting on the Indy 500 Cup. The president, uh, Doug Bowles, has a little business going on. <laughs> we'll get it. We'll definitely get it Monday, Tuesday, something like that. I apologize for leaving the Indy 500 Cup on A.J. Foyt's pit cart. Um, ooh, I look better today. Uh, I look much better today. So, the vertigo. I want to say this. I still feel better with the glasses on right now. Uh, I want to thank all of you. Man, I'll tell you what. Sometimes I'm a ballsy son of a bitch. Because... My family's made fun of me before because whenever whenever there's anything wrong with me, I run to the doctor. And I don't mind. I don't mind. Up. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Did you see that? So Marjorie Green Taylor and these two ladies, the lawmakers trade insults in unruly house. Oh, look, Louie's listening now. One girl calls Marjorie Green like a, a boxer lady. The other one, then Marjorie goes. Marjorie Green goes back. And goes well. You got fake eyelashes. <laughs> oh, everybody's like, what the hell's going on? So this morning, this morning somebody says, um, and I can see that there's people laughing while this is going on. So these are ladies lobbing insults back and forth. You got a boxer body. Well, you got fake eyelashes. So everybody's laughing about it. This senator comes out and he says, you know, I always compare the Senate House to the Jerry Springer show. Today, I apologize to the Jerry Springer show. <laughs> All right, no politics. That was comedy and that was funny. So I don't want to hear about it. Uh, all right, getting that, that, that was funny. So uh, this vertigo, anyway, I, I tell everybody what's wrong with me, but I want to thank all of you so much for telling me all about your vertigo. I never realized how widespread vertigo was. Um, you know, in 1991, I'm going to tell you something real ugly. I had positional vertigo, meaning the gyro in my head that senses which way I'm turning, uh, Dr. Petty in Charlotte, North Carolina, you know, took the scans and everything. And uh, I was projectile vomiting, right, from that 1991 accident. I never doubt my wife's love for me because I was in the doctor's office the next day on Monday after that 1991 race. And I go to vomit. Kim, Kim catches my vomit. God. She is, my wife is the greatest wife in the world. Caught my vomit in the doctor's office way back in 1991. So I'm with you all. I understand the different forms of vertigo. I want to thank everybody at the racetrack last night talking to me about it. Um, last night, I did a video uh, after the races and um, it, it I am 90% positive that it's these ears because I'm I'm constantly popping if I can get them to pop, you know, but I'm I'm a little better as you can tell. I'm not stay I'm not saying relative. I'm <laughs> relevant. <laughs> Shit, man, I'll tell you what. Relativity. See? So like your Einstein, relativity now I'm messed up again. <laughs> Last yesterday I made that video about staying relevant. And I was using my relatives. And then there's relativity. <laughs> so anyway, we learned. Uh, but everybody, it was so good to me about this vertigo. I want to thank you. I've seen all your comments. Um, okay, we're gonna I, I, I still I'm better in bed. Uh I still, if I, it's, it's just calmed way down. I still got it. 
when I lay in bed, but I slept with two pillows. So my head's still up and uh, I'm better. I'm not, I'm not fixed, I'm better. Um, so we're gonna run Peevely tonight. We should be the first class. The mods were last week and they were last. So they go, if the mods were last, there's six divisions last week or five. The mods were last. So Ray Marler and Kenny Schrader. Now this week they'll usually put the mods first, first or second. I should get to bed by 9.30 tonight, plenty early. John Scutoni, my buddy, it's got that SR-22, that kick-ass plane. He's going to come in here tonight around 8, 8.30. We're going to be gone from here at 5 in the morning. Wheels up at 6. Should land at North Wilkesboro around 9.45 or earlier. Uh, trackside Live at Wilkesboro starts at 12 tomorrow, 12 to 1. We're going to do the whole all-star deal on Sunday, Sunday night. And... Uh, it's bobblehead day on Monday. Monday evening, Kenny Wallace bobblehead day or bobblehead day. <laughs> Jeez, get the shit out of your mouth. I think that, I think that uh, steroids, that methylpadolozonone, I think that steroids got me a little jack and weird. So, um, Told John we'll go down there. We'll go in the garage area. I'm going to show John the new next-gen car. You ever look at those next-gen cars? Those things are indie car looking. They're, they're, even the indie car go, guys said, oh, well, your cars are a little better. They're not so taxi cab anymore. So the next-gen car, they're, they're carbon fiber. The heck, makes me think of my motorcycle I got. It's got all carbon fiber. I said, man, all these shops now down in, in NASCAR, everybody's, Everybody's trying to out carbon fiber each other. But it is it is good, light, strong stuff. All right, everybody. I'll see you tonight at Peavely, or I'll see you at North Wilkesboro tomorrow, or I'll see you Monday evening at Bush Stadium for Kenny Wallace bobblehead night. Kim's like, you tell them we want 20 of the bobbleheads. I'm like, yes, ma'am. <laughs>